。自由雕塑公园李望阳雕像揭幕仪式现在开始。请东马的曾孙女伊丽莎白·海尔女士给我们进行祈祷仪式。and justice for all. To the great red bear to the west, we remember strength and endurance. To the white buffalo to the north, we remember elders and bison wisdom. Listen to your elders. Care for your elders. They are most important to all of us. To the eagle to the east, we celebrate life and living on earth. Thank you everyone for being here. All my brothers and sisters, we are all human beings of the earth. And together, we can celebrate and take care of this earth and make sure
毫不妥协，视死如归，发出了“国家兴亡，匹夫有责”。为了国家早日进入民主社会，为了中国早日实现多党制，我就是砍头也不回头的誓言。二零一二年六月四日，获全美中国学生学者自治联合会颁发自由精神奖的第三天，六月六日，其亲属发现他的遗体挂在医院病房的窗户上，被中共谋杀。Today we are here to unveil the statue of Li Wangyang, presented on June 6, 2018, by Chen Weiming and his assistant Yong Kai Zhao. Li Wangyang, born November 12th of 1950, died June 6, 2012. Of Shuangfeng, Hunan Province, China, spent 22 years in jail serving his sentence for his involvement in promoting democracy during and after June 4, 1989, in China. As the result of the torture he suffered during his time in jail, he became blind and deaf, and his height shrank from 1.82 meters. To 1.73 meters. However, he never succumbed, but dared to risk his life. He made a statement in which he proclaimed, Everyone is responsible for the fate of the nation, and I will not yield, even if I am to be beheaded, for an early realization of democracy and multi party system in China. He was awarded the Free Spirit Prize on June 4th, 2012 by the Independent Federation of Chinese Students and Scholars. And two days later, on June 6, 2012, he was found dead by his relatives hanging from the window of a hospital was murdered by the Chinese communists, by the hands of the Chinese communists. 